Hello, it's Sandy Ainley here. Hope you're well. Um, I am okay, thank you, so to speak. Just to say to you that um, I've not slept from approximately uh, 24, about 40, 30, about 40 hours. Okay, slightly less maybe, about 38 hours I've not slept. Um, Last night I had night just gone. I had no sleep at all, and the night before I had maybe three hours. Um, somebody came to help me out in my flat at four o'clock yesterday morning, and today Saturday, um, I've had absolutely no sleep. The night just gone, and so I'm not tired. I'm probably doing my awakeiness so to speak out of nerves um i'm not in a unwell condition mentally or physically however i've got a lot on my mind presently and it does tend to these days particularly since my late father's demise it tends to play on me now just to say to you oh by the way L'chaim, one says in the Jewish religion, which means cheers, or in British, cheers, dears. So now that I've said my piece, <laughs> I'll go on to opening a parcel, if I may. With yourselves, if I may, that's what I meant when I said, if I may. Now, just to um, say that I'm going to talk, if I can, I'll do my best to try to do both at the same time. Um... I love it when I receive a big parcel. This is all from my friend, I wish to say to you. So it's very, I'm very excited to see what is in the packages. And this seems some, this is something pink. Oh, before I go into deep, deep, oh, sorry, no, what I'll do is I'll show you the parcels, contents, and then I shall show you what I'm wearing today. You can probably, probably see some of it. I hope so. Um, I'm all in royal blue today. Um, <clears throat> there we are. Nice, beautiful, fluffy rug. If I look on the um, instructions, etc., um, it doesn't say anything on subjects of washing, I don't think. Um, it says here, flammable, fails US Department of Commercial Standard. Should not be used near sources of ignition. Right, so I'm going to be really cautious and I'm going to keep the label on it. And that can go down for now. And then the second parcel, oh, I think I know what this is. It's a Christmas stocking stocking. And um, as in a stocking for Christmas in what I describe as really correct stocking condition. There we are. There's a sweet little thing. Little, not thing, sorry, caboodle. In fact, it's not a stocking, is it? It's a bag, like a present bag. So I stand corrected. Please have a look. Isn't that so cute? Aww. That's lovely. Oh, thank you to my friend. Thank you so much. Oh, see what more is arriving. Very excited. Oh, this is from Shane. I think it's all from Shane because it's all coming from one large package, so to speak. Um, I'll tear the bag. I can't be bothered now to take a, so, so much time opening it. I usually throw the bag away anyway and it's look like I'm doing now. I've just, got the, I've just got the bin here. I don't mind having said. Oh, I do seem tired. My face is uh, not as I like it at all. And I've noticed I have a really, really serious double chin. Not that it matters. But, well, it matters a bit. I'll te tell a porky pie. It does matter a bit to me. Um, oh, isn't that pretty? And a nice big dress as well, which I'm sure it'll fit me. 
Oh, how nice. Oh, I do like this dress. It's quite long as well, and it's quite a serious type of dress as a change to my usual style, which is pinks. And it's today I'm also in a different type of item. Um, I, I usually try to take um, a pair of scissors, sorry, excuse me, please, and cut the label. So I shall be obsessional and do it now whilst I'm talking to yourselves. Then I shall not forget. And it also um, is obsessional. However, it's also very precise. So I kill two birds with one stone. What am I talking on subject of, if I may ask? So, talking a little bit on subject of what's been taking place in my life, um, I've been subject to bullying again. This time I'm standing on my own and I'm not retaliating. Somebody has threatened me, I don't mind saying, with an, and I have had to take a form of action. Uh, I'm not enjoying it. Um, I've done absolutely zilch to provoke it. Um, but this time I'm not going back to this person because I've had I've gone back and I've given this, this person the benefit of the doubt. And I see that this person says sorry and then always does it again. So this time I, I, I have my mind set. I'm not forgiving. It's, it's one thing being a nice person and forgiving and, and trying to move on. It's one more point being taken for granted as a result of my nice nature, even though I say so myself. So let's see what's in here, shall we? Oh, it seems quite substantial in size. Oh, there's more in here. Oh, this is exciting. Seems like a hoodie. Oh my goodness gracious me. Please look at this. What a lovely hoodie. What does it say on the front, if I may ask? JDM presents Drift. I don't know, that might be a pop group. I have no idea. I'm not very uh, knowledgeable on subject of pop music. Some of it I like. Um, I'm not completely uh, um, um, unknowledgeable, if that's the correct manner in which to say it, when it comes to popular music. Um, I'm just going to see, like I usually do, the, um, yes, it's 30% uh, degrees, I mean, one washes it on. Oh, what a beautiful hoodie. Oh, I am excited. I usually double knot it at the, um, the lace part, if you like, when it, where the neck point is, so that the, um, I call it a shoelace. I name it as a shoelace. It doesn't go inside and, and then it, it, it the um, hoodie is too um, wide for me. It shall be if I if it gets stuck inside the the lining or whatever one names it as. This part, this open part. So um, it's extra large made in china how lovely okay lovely so that's that one thank you friend what have i got in here oh this does seem nice it's quite hassly which of course i think you know i like coloring oh my goodness gracious me now what's this oh my goodness gracious me a bikini for me no please I remember now, my friend meant 
mentioning it. Well, I'll probably use it, to be honest with you, as bra and knickers. I don't see any reason as to why not. What a lovely set. I'm not, I ain't using them as a bikini, not my size. No offense to anybody my size, or, or even smaller or larger. Just saying that for me personally, I would feel self-conscious going out um, to the beach wearing that. Um, that's just something that is a personal preference as opposed to a labelling anybody. Oh gosh, and just if I may change to this subject, this lovely hat. I can see it's lovely from I saw from the packaging. Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, my friend knows I like all this type of teddy bear -y style. Oh, what a lovely new wardrobe. Aren't I lucky? So yes, as I was saying, I've been subject to someone trying to bully me. However, this time, I'm not allowing myself to be bullied. I say what I mean and I mean what I say. I don't enjoy fools gladly. And although I'm a very polite lady, there's only so much that I can take. And then at one point, I have to, for my own mental health, I have to stand and show some backbone. And it's not, this has not been easy. This has been ongoing. It's been for a while. And um, I noticed that the reason it's continuing is because I'm not, I'm not leaving the situation or wasn't to be more precise. Um, and I have only myself to take responsibility for that. And it may have consequences because, you know, probably some of you know that when one speaks one's mind, sometimes people external to oneself rebel. And so if that takes place, well, so be it. You know, one just needs to say, so be it. Finished. Boop. Finito. I had a friend round yesterday, lovely lady. And um, the lady was talking quite a bit on the subject of this lady's concerns. And I wasn't feeling up to listening along for a long time, so to speak. So if you're listening, I didn't mean to hurt you. I hope I didn't. It's just that I'm full up myself at the moment, so I'm finding it hard to sympathize with you at the moment. But please forgive me. And please don't be hurt if you're listening. Please don't be hurt. If the lady hasn't heard this, I'll, I'll probably say it when I next see the lady. I also wanted to say that I hope I wasn't showing off with you yesterday as well. I did mention my singing voice about 30 years ago was, was, was good enough for any West End role, which is the truth. However, there's ways and means of saying it and expressing it. Expressing it. And if I said it in an arrogant manner, then I, I deeply apologize. I don't like people showing off Therefore, I try not to show off myself. It is the truth. However, sometimes it depends. I think, yeah, I've said that already. <laughs> so the next point was to do with the, with the weather. It got really cold yesterday and I felt I'd been really selfish not closing the door and putting the heating on. The heating I couldn't put on actually in my defense, sorry, because I can't get it to go at the moment. Um, the piece that opens so as I may use the button, button or whatever it is won't open so I can't use the heating. I could have closed the door though so if you're listening then again I yet again apologise deeply to you. I love you and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. And if all this has not been said, um, heard I meant, sorry, heard from yourself then I shall try and remember to mention it all in about a week's time when I next see this lady. So um, what one needs to do is focus on the people who are loving and caring and just move on. Um, 
it's just not worth it, you know. One can't um, have and accept unacceptable and cross boundaries. And that's what's taking place here. It's my boundaries are being trying people, someone, not, some, not people, someone is trying to, is crossing and trying to cross the boundary. And I am not allowing it to continue. So the only manner in which for it not to continue is for me to completely stop seeing this person. And whatever this person does, begs for forgiveness, no, goodbye, thank you so much, goodbye again, finished. Otherwise I'm going to be ill and I don't accept that, I just, I just, I owe it to myself to, to, to allow myself to be handled nicely. Sorry, I thought that was my phone about to go off. On the subject of Tom Mills, um, if you're listening to this, Tom, I apologise if I made if I provoked you to feel a bit defensive when I asked to speak to your son, um, Justice, or when I asked you to pass a message on. I think was more precise to Justice. I I was trying to help because Justice maybe needs to be a bit pushed a bit to be um cause it's so beautiful to be shy and it, if if you're protecting justice then justice may not get over it i don't know if you see what i mean sometimes one needs to expose someone to something in order for that someone to learn to be free of that concern that whatever it is that's certainly the manner of work in which it worked for me and works for me with my OCD. And I don't mind saying any habit which is not healthy is very good if one exposes oneself to that fear that one has, one, that phobia or obsession or compulsion, anything to that effect, I don't mind saying, obviously within reason. Um, However, in Justice's case, I mean, he's just such, I, Justice is a lovely, lovely gentleman from what I can have seen and heard. And I just think that like, as a someone who I admire each one of your family, and I wish your family happiness. And I apologize if I provoked you, I didn't mean to. Obviously your family is your, concern and I just wanted to say sorry so thank you to each one of you for listening to my lovely blog vlog um, sorry for the double chin <laughs> what I'm really saying is that I feel uncomfortable showing you my double chin but it's hard not to show you because I'm being recorded so take care of each one of you please and I'm looking at my lovely cat who's enjoying the sun. Take care, please, to, of each one of you and each other. And lots and lots and lots of love. Mwah. Love from Sandy. Shalom, which means hello, peace.